As a follow-up to my causal guide, here is a standalone double swirl tutorial. A quick recap on why double swirl is so strong. Kazuo's Ascension 4 passive grants your team 8 seconds of damage bonus to the elements that he swirls. Based on his elemental mastery, up to 40% damage bonus at 1000 EM. Therefore, the more elements you swirl, the more damage your team deals. Double swirl setups depend on the characters you used, but I'll show you some of the common setups for each reaction type to get you started on how to double swirl. There are three types of Kazuo E's. There is a press E, which has the weakest crowd control, but with a 6 second cooldown. Then a semi hold E with stronger crowd control, but also a 6 second cooldown. And then the hold E, which has the strongest crowd control, but also the longest cooldown at 9 seconds. It also takes the longest to perform. So if you're trying to be time sensitive because Kazuo's buff only lasts 8 seconds from swirl, then try to do the shortest E possible that still works consistently. So the first one that I'm going to show you is how to swirl electrocharged, and this is the easiest one by far. All you have to do is apply hydro and then apply electro, then swirl both of them. There's no complicated timings here. You can tap E or hold E on Kazuo. Next is Overload, which is also incredibly easy. All you have to do is swirl Pyro first, then apply Fischl's Electro, which has very strong application, meaning Cosmo's Burst can then swirl the Electro. Now if we combine the two, we get Overvape. So what we do is we first swirl Bennett, then we apply Xingqiu's Hydro, then Fischl's Electro, and then swirl the two as if we were swirling Electro Charged. For Vape, I'm going to show you both Xingqiu and Yelan. They differ slightly. Xingqiu is a little harder because you have to move away after using Xingqiu's E, or else his Rain Swords will continually apply Hydro. Therefore, you use Xingqiu's E, run slightly back but still within Bennett's field, then use Kazuo's Hold E to swirl Bennett's Pyro. Yelan is noticeably easier. All you have to do is use your E onto the enemy, immediately into Yelan's burst, then Bennett burst, then Kazuo can semi hold E for a swirl. Reverse Meld is kind of tricky. You want to start with Rosaria's E, then into Bennett's Burst, back to Rosaria's Burst, into Kazuo's Burst to swirl the Cryo, and then Kazuo's Semi Hold E to swirl Bennett's Pyro. For Freeze, you can either end up with a Hydro Field or a Cryo Field. I'll first show you the Hydro Field where you start with Rosaria EQ, into Kazuo Tap E, then into Farina EQ, and then Kazuo Q. This way you infuse Hydro into Kazuo's Burst. For a cryo field, swirl the hydro first with Kazuo's tap E, then apply some strong cryo so Kazuo's burst can swirl it into a cryo field. Now my specific rotation with Freena C6, I use her EQ, then normal attack for team wide healing, Kazuo tap E swirl the hydro, into Rosaria EQ for cryo application, then Kazuo burst the cryo into a cryo field. And that's how you perform double swirl with Kazuo for every reaction. 